The next component of supported employment services is assessment. This is when the employment specialist gathers information for a vocational profile. What kind of work does the person want? What is her dream job? What about that type of job does she like? An example of a vocational profile form is in the supported employment workbook. While collecting information for the profile, resist interviewing the consumer and completing the profile form at the same time. Gathering this information is best completed through a conversational format outside of the office setting, and it usually occurs over several meetings over a few weeks. The employment specialist gathers information from the consumer and from other sources, such as practitioners, and with permission from the consumer, family members, to help identify preferences, experiences, abilities, and strengths. Assessment is an ongoing process based on work experiences in competitive jobs. Many people work in a few different jobs over time. Information that is learned about that person as a worker in each job is added to the vocational profile. In the next video, you will see an employment specialist and consumer investigating different types of jobs to build the consumer's knowledge about the world of work to help make choices about job types. So I was like got two strikes against me, but I, when, I got, when I got dealing with legal issues, I've never been in trouble before in my life, and I've never been in trouble after that. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's like I wasn't a criminal. It just uh, it was just a mistake that happened in my life, and, right. and that mistake is causing me a lot of problems, a mm -hmm. lot of problems. And the resume, some of the questions that they might ask you. Well, um, you know, you know my resume. I mean, there's no reason why that I won't. <sighs> it's just that with uh, our, our problems that we've been running into. Yeah. You know, that's that's what that's what we have to. That's what I'm worried about. Right. That's right. what I'm nervous about. Right. And, and um, but I'm hoping that they'll look past that and see that you know recently I've been doing peer advocacy work. Right. For Vermont Cares and and uh, uh, teaching adult HIV and AIDS education. Batted women. And, you know, I've you know, coached Red Cross, girls HIV basketball. Prevention. Yeah. You know, I've, I've done all this stuff and I've got letters of reference to back it up. And um, I just, I'm hoping that, I'm, I'm really hoping that it's one of these places that we go to, you know, will look past uh, mental health issues and will look past, you know, and just give me a chance. Well, I, I, think I that really they, just need a chance. Right. I think we need to show them that this is, these are positive things because most of the kids, the young adults coming into Spectrum have, um, there was just an article in Seven Days last week about how many of them have co-occurring disorders and mm. trauma and problems in their life. So, and how they hired somebody who used to be a street person. So mm. these are translatable skills. If you've been in the shoes, then kids are going to, and young adults are going to relate to you um, in a way that they wouldn't to someone who's never been in that position before. Well, I guess and, we got to hope that somebody reads seven days a year. Yeah, well, the thing is, if, if the issue comes down to the background check, what we can do is ask them, would they be willing to... Um, wait until we get that clearance because mm -hmm. if that's a billing issue or and in the meantime is there some way you can start in a capacity maybe not as a full-blown staff member but in an advocacy position is there some step in between um, to get you started there yeah um, for example um, when I talked to the guy at COTS he had suggested that you come in and um, you know, just get to know people and, and maybe volunteer a couple of times just to, to try it out and see if it's a, a match for you and a match yeah, for them. Yeah, any final words of encouragement? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get do it done. It. Get it done. <laughs> All right. I hope they see all the positive things that I, you That's know, right. that I have yep. to offer. Yep. All right. Excellent. Let's get it done. Assessment includes the following components. Find out the person's job interest and previous work experiences. How might the information relate to improving his next work experience? Visit job sites with the consumer to explore possibilities. 
and develop a plan for finding meaningful work and revise the plan as needed over time. Overall, a job match that is based on the person's interests and strengths improves job tenure and job satisfaction.